Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. It's part two for our subsonic AP or armor piercing body armor testing. Last time we were able to show that our M855 and M855A1 were able to penetrate a very highly rated rigid PE 3A plate. So today I have a rigid polyethylene level three plus plate from ShotStop here. We have our M2AP, which failed to penetrate level four last time. We'll throw the M855, the A1, and the M2AP against this plate. It's about 90 degrees outside today. Very hot, I've been sweating and drinking water all day and getting bit by biting flies. Well, let's set up for this test. We have our plate at approximately 20 feet. This is subsonic, so bringing it out to 45 isn't gonna make much of a difference. We have our clay briefcase. As always, Procono Digital. Didn't bring my 10 round magazine. We'll start with the M855 first. We have our velocity there, hopefully you can see. Velocity, 1097. And now our M855A1. Velocity 998. We'll also shoot our M2 AP while we're at it. We have a 16 inch CZ557, has a 16 inch 1 in 10 twist barrel. It stabilized these last time. We have our Yankee Hill Phantom M2 on there. Velocity, 943. I'll reposition your cameras and we'll go down and take a look at all three shots. Hopefully you all can see this fairly well. Kind of hard because of where the sun's at. I'm in the shade trying to stay cool. Here was the M855, here was the A1, and here was the M2. Three good, fair hits on this level three plus plate. What do you guys think? Hard to see right there, but that is the tip of M855A1 poking through that plate. Our M2AP completely stopped. I'll cut this back away a little bit to make sure that it's not poking out. The M855, a little bit of a dimple there, but interesting. You need a good level three plus plate from polyethylene to stop M855A1, even subsonic. I cut a couple spots away from the plate. Here is the M2AP. No penetration or poking through there. We'll have to see maybe if we can get the core out of there. Here is the M855A1. It's a good quarter of an inch way through there. Now it's pretty interesting. We've tested polyethylene level three before and when we got into the 2,000 feet per second, we were able to stop it. So it's again kind of that weird ability that the subsonic velocity keeps the bullet intact longer, keeps it from deforming, and the exposed steel penetrator seems to help it penetrate a lot better. Well, these current results definitely require further testing. How about M80A1? At what velocity going down the ladder could a plate like this stop M80A1? And then after, can it do it again at its subsonic velocities? Now that we have that 12 and a half inch upper from Palmetto State Armory, we may have to test what velocity we get out of M80A1 from that, and then work up some subsonic loads and make sure that they stabilize. I'd like to thank ShotStop for sending out products for us to do continued testing on. My Patreon supporters, the few and the proud, and you all for watching. I'll leave my social links in the description below. That way, if you feel the need to check out any deals that I find to post 
or any relevant links that I'm not allowed to post in the description below. Until next time, catch you at the range.